Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. In the last part, we finished up the overworld Mai Mai's. And I took a look, I went through all of the uh, underworld ones, and just saw what we could get. Apparently... Sorry. I opened the screen too big. Apparently, uh, we are able to go after basically the rest of them really easily. Uh, there's none that are restricted from us anymore. So, we're gonna start with that. From our house, we're actually gonna go down, because we want to go and get some ones beneath us before anything else. Uh, like, there's one right in this wall here. Um, to find them, I basically I have a map open with all of them pinned, and I'm just going to those spots and hoping I see it early. Like, see, there's one right here, which is should be easier to get than that one in the other world where we ran as much as we could and we just couldn't get the item. But there, as well as, there should be one, yep, right in this... Oops. Also, there's a nice little swimming uh, moat around here, but there should be one right up here in this section. We just want to dive to it and pick it up. Our next goal, we want to head all the way over to the far left of this area. Well, okay, far left relative to where we are right now. I'm beat up this guy. Get a little bit of money, not too, too much. Um, oh, that's the one we already picked up. Because there was that one that was just up around here. And we already, we already climbed the wall and took him. But you can see there's a nice bomb here, we're not worried about it. But if we head up to here to where Gully was taken, next door where Gully was sitting in the other world, there's a nice little mini game here. But we can ignore all that and look for one of these that should have a Maya Mai in it. Unless I'm mistaken, it's under these skulls. So right under the skulls is where you can find a Maya Mai. You can see if we take a look, we have 10 left in this area. I picked one of the bigger ones first just because it'll get it done a little sooner if we do it this way. So we've got another guy right in here. Unfortunately, we can't get into this place. So we gotta go into this place. And we're just gonna quickly just run to the right. Yo ho ho! Who's it that goes? Friend or foe? Who is it? Friend or foe? Who is it? For bombs you seem to be searching, well then leave me to my researching. What I can sell you now is nothing. Alright. So this thing blows up big boulders. We have now unlocked... Fine, how much? Borrow for 200 rupees. So that's one of those things that we just had to get. And it's a one-time fee, so it'll always be available. But you can go and talk to it, and this bomb will follow you around. We're going to need it for a future um, dungeon, so it made sense for us to pick it up right now. Also, I hate that rock when it comes to this. Oh, we got another bee. Oh, let's put it in a bottle. Am I hitting the wrong one? I thought it was just on one of these. Oh, it's this patch of grass directly to the north. Alright, we're gonna escape as quickly as possible. We wanna actually keep heading to the left here. Because we have another rupee rush. Alright, 100 rupees for this. See, we've just spent 300 rupees, uh, all for basically nothing, because we're just getting the Mayamais. So we want this thing right in that wall there. Oh. Um. Okay, we missed it twice. That's gonna really impact our time. I think we should basically run straight there. Because I don't think we're going to get enough otherwise. Alright, what is he going to say? He's going to say... 
over by by 0 0.02 seconds. A little rude, but in any case, we only need to go in there for the sake of that. But yeah, this is another cave that you can open up with that big bomb. But we're, we're still after the Mayamize right now. We're back into Thieves Town. Oops. Just trying to hit that ghost with a charge and succeed. But if we charge into this tree, nothing happens, because I always forget that it is here. Go and... Got another Mayamai. Mm -hmm. There is only seven left there. There's still seven left in this area. Oh. Let's get that 50 rupees right there. Just have to be able to merge to be able to get those. Uh, we have pretty much all of them in the main town now, except for... I was going to say, there better be one in a tree. I know there's one in a tree. This guy. But from there, we can actually just exit the town now. There was nothing in the north half of the town. Um, but there is one hidden over here. Yep, you can see it. It's merged. It's sitting on that side of that house. So you actually have to go around the full house. Fortunately, we saw we could do that in the overworld. Um where we picked up that piece of heart that was hiding back here. In the be in this one, there's no piece of heart hiding here. But, it does get us closer to the next Mayamai in any case, so... The Master Sword just gonna cut up all these skulls, apparently. So, if we pick up this rock, we can just kind of chuck it at people. Was it? Yeah, was it just one of these trees? Not that one, but... That one? Nope. Huh. Oh, it's the other rock. Of course it's the other rock. We pick it up, and that is another Mayamai. Am I. Leaving us with four left in the area. But there's no way to get to the rest easily from here. We're going to pick up that heart, because I like sword leaves. They are all over by the castle area. Oh, a fairy tree. Weird. We have some of these guys. These Hinoxes, I believe they are. Rather annoying to fight, for the most part. Alright, so now that we're back in front of the tree, the um, place, we're gonna crash into this. There's a tree right at the front of the castle. Oh. Or I'm thinking of this one. So I may not know exactly where all of them are. However, um, so far I've found them. Our next goal is... I think we've already overshot it. Did I not get the one on the back of Link's house? Oh, it's down here. Okay, we'll pick up this guy. Now there's two left, and I'm not sure where the other one is. Because if I take a look, I've gotten... Oh, there's a cave here. I wasn't after the cave, I'm after... Apparently money. get another Mai Mai, and I think that's me touching all of the dots, right? But if there's one left, I guess let us head north a bit. And check the tree I thought it was in. Alright. That completes the biggest area of here. However, the only downside is you really can't transition through areas except through the bell. Uh, since we do have the Misery Mire area, let's head there next. Ah, uh, you get 
three in this area. Oh, none too, too difficult to find. For example, one is just above this supply point. Makes it really easy to pick up. Now then, there's another one to the far right and another one to the far left, so... Either way, you're gonna have to do some backtracking here. I find it funny they put one right under this rock when you need to beat Misery Meyer to get um, this one done. Hello, random person. Alright, we're just gonna make a charge, though it looks like, yeah, there's too much water where we're not gonna charge otherwise. Last one is we saw it on our way to Misery Mire, right here in the water. Let's get out of this and fell again. Now we only have one other area already unlocked that we've been to, and that is Death Mountain. So we're gonna head up to, well, Death Mountain. And there are, well, there are six up here. Bunch of Henoxes and everything. There's one. So we gotta head up to this area, merge, and... To oh. I said... Merge, and... Ta-da! Keeps you from walking off with those few blocks. Okay, we got the Maya Mai. Take it to Mother Maya Mai, will ya? There's another one right under that rock like it was in the other place, so we're gonna have to take another fun, fun puzzle to get it. The reason I actually decided to go and get them all right now is because, well, uh, we have all the items. I don't want to have to re- um, what's it called? Get them for the sake of doing this next time. Though it would be a uh, just before Ganon one. These skulls apparently often can turn to alive skulls and try to beat you up a lot more. With one Hinox, it's not too difficult to fight. You just keep spamming them until they die. But when when you get to two or three, they're a little more difficult. Especially when they can hit you with most of the weapons. Fortunately, we do have the Fire Rod, which will just push them back repeatedly. The downside is, yeah, if they hit you, they will probably kill you. Now, we do have a few more coming from this side, that's why we're rushing this way as we can. Let's kill off this Enox. for that good one rupee. Very beneficial for us to do that. And we're just gonna climb right up here right away. And there's a nice drop point, which gets us our other Maya Mai. Now, with only three left in this area, we'll head up and across to the left, bringing us to, oh no, a place we need the hammer. Uh, it, it's weird with this game because you can get all of the items easily, like, you can start with them if you need to. You saw, we did, we picked them all up right at the very beginning of the game, we picked up every single item because of the money we had, um, but you don't have them all upgraded, but you don't need any of them upgraded to actually do any of the Maya Mai's. We're gonna tag this point and get a new weather vane has been added to the map. Save our progress? No, we're not gonna save. Uh, we are in fact going to fly down back to the Death Mountain weather vane. And that'll be the end of this. Alright, thank you guys for watching this episode of uh, Low Rule Maya Mai Collection. In the next part, we will continue, we'll finish up Death Mountain and start going to the areas we haven't actually accessed yet. See you guys then!